This website's scrolling effects are awesome. So awesome in fact that we'll have to recreate some of it. In particular, I like this intro sequence. As the text scrolls, the image zooms out. When the text is out of the view, the image zoom stops and the new section pushes the image away. This gives us some implementation guidance. We know it's divided into three sections. Each section fills the entire screen. Section 1 and 2 is overlaid and section 3 only starts to scroll when section 2 is scrolled out completely. I created the basic UI so we don't have to waste any time on that. I recommend you watch to the end and when we are done, clone the starting project and do it yourself. Right now we have a basic list. What we actually need is a list that allows you to modify the child's drawing position based on the scroll position. This sounds like a job for the scroll transform view, which you can find in the responsive builder package. Let's install that quickly. Swap the list view to a scroll transform view, then wrap each of the children in a scroll transform item. Firstly, we need to move the text section so it's overlaid on the image. We can achieve this by shifting the second section up by the height of the screen. In code, we supply an offset builder to the second section where we return an offset with zero in the x direction and minus screen size dot height in the y direction. Now the text is in the right place, but the image scrolls away with it. To fix that, we supply an offset builder to the image that makes it sticky. To make something sticky, what we do is we offset in the y direction by an amount equal to the distance that the view has scrolled. This keeps the image on screen all the time. In code, we supply an offset builder. We return the offset where x equals 0. And for y, we'll set it equal to the scroll offset. This is looking better. Now for the scaling. When we scroll from the beginning of the first section to the end of the first section, we want the image to be 50% of its width and 80% of its height. That means we can use the offset and the screen height to calculate a value between 0 and 1. We should probably cap it at 1 to ensure we only go from 0 to 1. Let's check if our numbers are correct first. We'll subtract 50% of the width and 20% of the height from the image. And that looks good, but it's not changing as we scroll. So let's multiply the value of off-screen percentage with the amount that we are subtracting from the size. Nice. That looks better, but the image is shrinking to the top. This one shrinks to the center. Hmm. Instead of keeping the offset fixed at the top, we should move it down as the height changes. We know how much it's shrinking by, so we can use it to calculate our transform. Let's update the offset builder and use the shrinkage amount for the height in there. We'll copy the percentage of screen and we'll also create a new value called height shrinkage amount and use that same formula. Now we want to offset the image down by half of the shrinkage amount. Perfect. Is that everything? Let's see. Text scrolls, image shrinks, image moves. Okay, so the section shouldn't cover the image. It should push it away once the first section is out of view. Let's create a new value that tells us when to start moving the image. We know that this is when the scroll offset is bigger or equal to the screen height. Let's also store the current on screen offset value. Now, since we know the offset here is exactly equal to the screen height, we can simply move the image by the real scroll offset minus screen size height. To apply this, the Y value will change to check if we haven't started moving, return the on-screen offset. And if we have started moving, we return the on-screen offset minus the scroll offset minus the screen height. Okay, so now this works, but it starts to push away the image a bit too late. Let's make our point to start moving the image 80% of the screen height instead which then also means that we need to deduct 80% of the screen height from the scroll offset. Let's see if that works. Okay, perfect. So how did I do? In your opinion, the original compared to the recreation? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.